when the uh, war ended in in war ended in 1918, but the soldiers were coming home in 1919, and in that time, the uh, the communities that these soldiers uh, lived in had large parades to welcome the soldiers back home. Uh, a big big patriotic event, uh, floats and and bands and. Uh, business persons and uh, both Seals River and Sunbury had had a similar parade. Uh, Sunbury's was, I think, in May 1919, and Seals River had one in on a Saturday in June 1919. But in both cases, there were nice medals like this, or commemorative medals, given to the soldiers who who paraded that that day in Sunbury. And this is a this is a medal that was given to one of the Sunbury soldiers. We don't know who specifically because there's no actual name on it. But on the back it says, presented by the people of Sunbury, Pennsylvania, in grateful recognition of the patriotic services in the World War. Like I say, this, this was from Sunbury, but similar ones were issued to the soldiers from Seelands Grove. I've read, I've read the newspaper reports from particularly from the Seals Grove Parade and the participants in the parade, the soldiers and nurses after, after the parade went to Susquehanna University for a banquet and at the banquet they were awarded these, these medals. So I'm sure that there were, you know, maybe, maybe 1,500 medals or, you know, that, that were issued and I just haven't seen many of them. We also have a set of seven postcards that show, uh, black and white images of the of the parade we've been talking about and this is the parade in Seelands Grove and they uh, paraded north on Market Street the way it looks to me in Seelands Grove from probably down near University Avenue but there were arches that the soldiers paraded through these photos are at various uh, integrals during the during the course of the parade I, I think a lot of a lot of towns had had welcome home parades. This this was a big World War One was a big deal for, other than the the Civil War was was the last major, uh, you know, war that the uh, the townspeople actually were were a part of. And I, I I think for that reason this when when it ended there was a lot of jubilation in in, in these towns. And my my dad said that. He celebrated a little too much and dropped a toy gun off the second floor and it hit his, one of his mother's prized lamps on the first floor and broke her, broke her lamp. And he thought he was in big trouble and she said, as great as this day is, we're not going to spoil it by something like this. And he got a, uh, he got a pass on it. My dad and his mother, now my dad would have been, Five years old at this, but he and his he told me he and his mother were at, were at this parade, so I know he was there. And his first cousin, Robert Fassold, whose picture we have here, and this this photo was taken, I believe, on Armistice Day, uh, November 11, 1918. I believe is when this photo was taken, and this is taken in front of in front of the family home on on Market Street. He was. A participant in the parade, so they were they were there. I wish on these postcards I could actually pick out a relative, but uh, <laughs> I haven't been able to. Robert Fassel was a student at Susquehanna University and a member of the Student Army Training Corps. He would have been one of the members that that paraded, and he likely would have gotten one of these medals we were talking about. But I have no I have no record of it. I believe the 1918 or 1919 yearbook shows the members of the Student Army Training Corps in their uniform. So they, they actually uh, took the yearbook photos in their uniform. So I think they were passionate about it.